As a dual language teacher, you're always seeking for resources in Spanish. And STEM scopes, what it brings, I mean, it has music, it has reading, it has science. All the content areas are incorporated within one. I use the reading strategy that it's called Tongue and Chew. I divided the passage into four to five paragraphs. So I told the kids, you're going to be an expert on this area only, and you're going to transfer it in a drawing. So I did explain to them what's the difference between a sketch and the drawing because I wanted them to go in detail. What happened in the story? How did she react to whatever problem happened in the story? So what they did, they drew their drawing. We talk about it. So after that, I gave them a piece of paper and I said, whatever you drew, now you're going to transfer it into writing. So that's a great strategy. That's a great activity that you can use for reading, science, social studies, any subject. I use the passage for STEM scopes and I just align what we were doing in the classroom in science, what we were learning to incorporate that. On the other activity that we did it was singing the science rock matter. I used the song in Spanish and I told them it's not just playing the song, but I told them specifically what I was looking for. So keywords, any vocabulary that we have talked before, any tools that they use for matter, That's what I asked them to do. El, las manos, usamos las manos para el tacto, ¿verdad? Para sentir. Si yo quiero describir esta bolsita, tengo que tocar, tengo que ver, tengo que, ¿qué más? Observar, Observar ver, oír. And we talk about vocabulary, that academic vocabulary, those tools that they need every year for them to perform at grade level in science. ¿Se puede pagar? Se están repelando. ¿Cómo suena repelar en inglés? Oh, repel. Ok, repelando. ¿Se están juntando? Ay, mis paradas. ¿No es juntar? Sí. ¿Se están repelando? ¿Se están juntando? Sí. No. Repelar. No se... Se están despegando. Muy bien, Rafael. Gracias.